morning you guys welcome to the morning slide y'all it was jelly bean season it was jelly bean season is it just me i love me a mean ass easter basket y'all bitches better get with it i know who done told y'all wrong easter and halloween that's the kids holiday but that's mommy holiday that's mommy holiday that's mommy's munchie holiday so i don't know who done told y'all wrong but that's I hate to come to y'all with a fucked up ass story coming off the Easter holiday But I had to talk about this because I just seen this video on YouTube About this um, game that's on Facebook that just got somebody killed So apparently there's this game on Facebook called Profoundly Me It is a game where you can send anonymous questions to a Facebook follower or somebody or something like that so someone sends this chick a message about her baby father being childish. That's why I don't play. I don't play. I don't, I, that's why I don't even be on Facebook like that. I don't be on Facebook like that. I don't be. I, listen, I go on social media to handle my motherfucking business, and I have to fuck off, and I handle business. I don't got time to be on motherfucking social media with y'all. I don't even like no niggas that be on social media. If it's a nigga, I find out this nigga even got a motherfucking Facebook, Instagram, all that shit. He be all on the internet. I ain't even fucking with you on God. I understand what I'm saying? But they, these, these childish ass people sent this girl a message asking her, Oh, why your baby father like my friend so much? Why your baby father all up in my friend face? That shit led to a fight which ended up somebody getting stabbed. This shit happened out Illinois somewhere. I'm assuming Chicago. I don't know. Um, but only thing I know is somebody's dead. The girl who the baby father was cheating with her sister got fucking stabbed to death. She's dead now. Because y'all playing motherfucking games on fucking Facebook. Why y'all like y'all y'all play too fucking much and y'all be fighting over dick. Y'all be y'all be motherfucking fighting over fucking neighborhood ass penis. I will never fucking fight or get in. The, listen, you ain't never got to worry about me coming to no bitch about no motherfucking neighborhood ass dick. Once I found out my dick out in the street, bitch, you can have them. Google me, bitch. Y'all got me fucked over. Basically, this girl baby father who apparently they were still fucking with each other. Unbeknownst to her, he had a whole nother girlfriend. Okay? So... The baby mama thinks that the side bitch's friends was sending her them little fucking petty ass messages on that motherfucking shit. And then her motherfucking friends got into it as well. Like both crews got into it. And motherfucker was like, oh, bitches must want to get jumped. And apparently that's what bitches do, jump. I, I, I don't listen. I don't subscribe. I'm a whole grown ass woman. I got a mortgage and I got kids out here. I got. I ain't got time for none of this shit, bro. The side bitch fucking sister is dead right now. Oh God, like this shit not fucking funny. Y'all need to stop fucking playing. So my bitches be thinking that's cool to be fucking with motherfuckers, niggas and shit like that. That shit is not cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, there are some women that really just do not fucking know. Why? Because y'all bitches be sitting up there letting y'all niggas dog y'all the fuck out. Like, y'all don't see this shit. And the niggas is so motherfucking masterful at this shit. It ain't no way that these bitches can fucking know that they got a motherfucking girl at home. Because uh, to me, if you spending motherfucking four out of seven days it, at minimum at my shit why the fuck would i think you got a motherfucking girlfriend where the fuck where the which you where you got time to spend with the bitch so at the same at, you know what i'm saying if it's a situation like that both motherfuckers at fault the main chick and the nigga for being neighborhood dick but at the end of the day ain't no nigga worth ain't no bitch worth dying over no neighborhood dick can't be no more transparent and saying y'all females need to stop laying there and letting these niggas fucking dog y'all the fuck out then y'all be willing to take yourself and your friends y'all jumping people y'all fighting bitches over some neighborhood community fucking penis how stupid do y'all bitches look why just to say you a main bitch you was an insane bitch. Like something wrong with you. Like something that is like, like some fundamentals was 
definitely missed up here. I am not fighting over no fucking neighborhood ass dick. Trust and believe me. So some bitch run up on me and I ain't know that you was, that <laughs> he had you at home, bitch. And y'all bitches run up trying to jump me. You motherfucking right. Whatever the fuck I can grab, one of y'all bitches gonna die. So if y'all bitches wanna motherfucking die with some community dick, then I'm sorry, I just really have a lack of comprehension to that shit. I, I I've never I've never had no nigga in my life that cheated on me that I done got that mad that I'm willing to get my friends. And we gonna go jump some bitches. We gonna go jump the bitch. And I'm gonna go home and go still lay with this bitch. Fuck out of here. Like I'm sorry. That shit sounds so motherfucking retarded. So now, the side bitch sister, she dead. Because both of the crews done came out. That girl dead. I just like, I just, I really just don't have any words. Like, I really don't even have any words. So I'm like, we have to do better, y'all. Better in loving ourselves and not surrounding ourselves around this fucking community ass penis. I really think these niggas love you. They got y'all out there fighting in the streets like y'all some cats and dogs and shit like that. Like y'all some alley cats and some shit. That's all the mean. Come on. Fuck y'all out here acting like some alley puss. Some rat holes. That's rat hole shit. Ain't no king gonna have his queen out there in the street battling for nothing nothing i need y'all to value yourself a little bit more and think about how you putting yourself out there how you looking and what's worth it what's worth your life what's worth your freedom what's worth your respect because me as a grown woman i would be embarrassed to tell anybody that i know that i'm out there in the street fighting over somebody that everybody know with some community ass penis and you know he gonna keep you doing it for what y'all to elevate higher i need y'all to like really tap into that divine feminine that queen energy like y'all are empresses y'all are queens do you understand what i'm saying no man if a man will go out there and and devalue you, you like that and go and lay with another woman he don't love you why are you fighting over somebody that don't love you someone sister is dead now because of a man who didn't love neither one of these girls and probably had a few other girls in the mix that he was fucking too outside of them do you understand what i'm saying i just i, I want y'all to really think about what was lost here a life was lost a life of a girl that wasn't even fucking a nigga the girl wasn't even fucking a nigga she was just protecting her sister I need to make this make sense to me. See, people just like to instigate fucking drama. Because this woman was sitting over there minding her business, chilling. Why the fuck with the friends of this side bitch going taunting the baby mother? Yeah, like, why your baby father all in my friend's face? Why? Why? Y'all, like, every last whoever the fuck sent that message, you need to be in jail for murder. For murder. You instigated a murder. And there's a picture of some broad that they're like is 30 something years old. I think that the girls that are doing all this stuff, they're like way younger. They're like in their early 20s and shit like that. There's like a whole grown ass 30 year old mother standing on the side with a, a kitchen knife in her hand. I'm assuming she's the one who did the stabbing. They got a picture of her, so she's about to go to jail. For what? You ain't even fucking them. Y'all jumping, pulling out knives on bitches and shit. Y'all need to go get some education. Because if you had your mind on something better, like trying to like build yourself up, you would not be out here fighting over no motherfucking neighborhood, community, dick. Again, I repeat. That dick don't belong to you, beloved. That dick belong to the streets. What y'all bitches don't get about this shit? Y'all be out here, be ready to fight like, oh, I ain't going nowhere. I know you ain't going nowhere. And guess what? Them STDs ain't going nowhere neither, beloved. <laughs>
That man is a liability. Why the fuck y'all be wanting to be out here fucking around with liability dick? I don't get y'all. Y'all need to get some education. Y'all need to get some self-love. Y'all need to get your chakras in line. Y'all need to get some rose quartz crystals. You need to put that shit close to y'all house. Y'all bitches need to start loving yourself. Because y'all don't love yourself. You can tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all this from experience, Shanga. I put myself out there for a fuck nigga that looked stupid one time. And I realized how the fuck I was looking. And I removed myself from that shit. Like, now nah, I don't even put myself out there as an option for fuck niggas. Like... <laughs> I'm a queen, I'm an empress. I know my worth, like, I would never. And I would tell y'all, don't ever put yourself out there looking like some alley cat ass puss hoes, okay? Some rat hoes fighting over some neighborhood fucking dick, trash ass dick. Throw the whole nigga away type of dick. Fuck you mean? I don't give a fuck how much drugs he's selling, I don't give a fuck how much of a nice car he got. I don't give a fuck about that. That's low level standards. You understand what I'm saying? That's low level standards compared to a queen. I don't want no street money. I need a nigga with some motherfucking entrepreneur money. Boss money. Ain't got no time for that fuck shit. Fuck that, that fuck nigga shit. Y'all keep going out there in the street dying over fuck niggas. Y'all better go for love yourself. Y'all better go find somebody that love you. You better love yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all are queens out here. I need y'all to elevate higher, man. These niggas want to play in the mud. Let them be in the fucking mud, young. Yeah. That yeah, man, look. That man still out there sticking his dick in something else. Right now. Right now. While motherfuckers got their family members that they about to bury. He probably ain't even fucking with neither one of y'all no more. And y'all about to go to a funeral and bury your sister over some fuck shit. So I love y'all. If y'all got that app on y'all phone, take that shit off y'all motherfucking Facebook, man. For matter of fact, just log off fucking Facebook and shit for a while, yeah. Y'all leave that shit the fuck alone. I love y'all. Love y'allself. Peace. Word to the wise. If you pay more attention to attract the money to you, you attract men that like to attract money. That would want to marry you. That want to invest something in you. I want to treat you the value that you treat yourself. Put your focus on yourself, your business, your money. Valuing yourself. Strengthening your foundation, your environment. And you'll attract better men. Love yourself.